15 Things Not To Do In The Dominican Republic Beautiful beaches, amenity-packed resorts, awe-inspiring nature, incredible golf, and a vibrant culture, these are some of the things that make the Dominican Republic one of the most visited destinations in the Caribbean. However, despite the paradisiacal elements, we've included a list of things not to do in the Dominican Republic, that should keep you on the safer side during your trip to this popular Caribbean destination. Number 1. Exchanging too many pesos. Preferably take dollars with you then exchange them for small amounts of Dominican pesos, Dominican peso, when you're in the country and as needed. This applies if you're staying at an all-inclusive resort as they also accept US dollar. You'll need some small change in the local currency for things like transport and refreshments. Sometimes, when you pay in dollars at small shops, you'd often get change in Dominican peso. In any case, ensure your notes are in good condition, and not scribbled on as most shops won't accept them. Number 2 not arranging for airport transfers. It's always best to check if your hotel includes airport transfer services with your booking. Included transfers help you avoid the hassle of queuing or looking for a taxi or shuttle once you've landed at Punta Cana International Airport, PUJ. You also won't need to worry about figuring out prices for taxi rides. Number 3. Driving. Driving in the Dominican Republic can be tempting at times like, when you want to escape the confines of your all-inclusive Punta Cana resort, and discover on your own what the rest of the beautiful country has to offer. However, note that the traffic will often seem hectic to newcomers, with reckless drivers, and motorists who don't seem to find it chaotic themselves. Number 4. Underestimating the Sun. When visiting the Dominican Republic, you'll likely be enjoying plenty of time in the sun. Be careful though, as it's indeed a sunny country, and it's easy to get a tan on the beach. But with all the fun, it's also easy to get sunburnt before you realize it. Wear adequate clothing, and slap some sunscreen onto exposed parts of your body. The effects of the sun's rays tend to be stronger around the white sand beaches you'll still have plenty of sun beyond summer. To note, June is often the hottest month and August has the most daily sunshine hours. Number 5, Falling for Common Scams Over a third of Dominicans live under the poverty line, and some often resort to committing scams for a quick buck. Those you should be aware of range from easily avoidable ones like fake, professional, beggars, and vendors selling fake goods like cigars, to shadier practices like bar scams, and unlicensed taxis and tour operators. Beware of inflated, or absence of prices at restaurants and bars. Always ask for a final price quote for weighed seafood. Number 6. Think everyone speaks English. The main spoken language in the Dominican Republic remains Spanish. In general, English isn't very widely spoken. If you know a little bit of Spanish, or even speak the language, you'll face no issues getting about and getting by. Even so, you'll be able to communicate in English in the more touristy, and recently developed resort areas such as Punta Cana. Number 7, Underestimating the Dominican Republic's Hurricane Season The so-called hurricane season should be factored in, when planning a trip to the Caribbean islands. The Dominican Republic itself lies right in the middle of the Caribbean hurricane belt, getting its fair share of stormy weather, usually at its peak in August and September. Temperatures in the different regions, throughout the island of Hispaniola also vary due to the diverse terrain. Take into account where you wish to stay, and what types of activities you plan to do during your visit. Number 8. Thinking the cellular coverage is great. Using your smartphone for communication, and navigation while out, and about in the Dominican Republic might not always be a great experience. Most GSM networks work flawlessly in the main towns such as Punta Cana, and Santo Domingo, 
but the more you might get lower signals in rural areas where you mostly need your online maps. You should also consider the high roaming charges when using your home card. You can, however, purchase a local SIM card, to be used on your smartphone, you'll usually need to present your passport to buy a local SIM card. Number 9, there is such a thing as island time. Island time is alive and well in the Dominican Republic. That means things run at their own pace, unhurried by tourists who arrive with strict routines. Expecting everything from restaurant reservations, to pre-booked taxis to operate with a delay of 15 to 30 minutes late is hardly considered off schedule. Number 10, drinking the tap water is not a great idea. Bottled water is available everywhere, so don't even think about drinking tap water in the Dominican Republic. Some hotels provide filtered H2O, but play it safe, and stick to the branded bottled water to avoid any unpleasant illnesses. Number 11, don't forget to pack more than beachwear. If you plan on taking in the nightlife in the Dominican Republic, make sure to pack more than your standard beachwear. Dominicans take clubbing seriously, and turning up in your beach attire will make you feel slightly underdressed, in many bars and clubs. You don't have to bring anything fancy, but at the very least, leave your flip-flops at the hotel. Number 12, do not ask if they are Puerto Ricans. When in doubt as to whether the one you are speaking to, is a native of the Dominican Republic, just ask if they are from around. It is considered more polite than asking, if they are Puerto Ricans. Nonetheless, Dominicans have no issues with Puerto Ricans, they are just extremely proud of their roots. Number 13, do not disagree strongly with anything regarding the Pope. Catholicism is widely practiced in the Dominican Republic. It is advisable to avoid all heated arguments about Catholicism, or the Pope in general. You may not like the outcome of the conversation at the end. Number 14, do not play with street animals. Animal lovers run a risk of getting infections transmitted by street animals. If you want to rescue some cat or dog, follow special rules and better contact a local animal rescue group. Wash your hands thoroughly after touching such animals. Be careful with exotic species, for example snails. Some of them may also transmit infectious diseases, although they never attack you, and it is hardly possible you will get in touch with them. Number 15, do not buy souvenirs at the first gift shop on your way. Most excursion providers will take you to gift shops to buy local souvenirs. They will persuade you to buy gifts only at that shop, justifying it by the best prices and the best offers. Obviously because they get their commission of sales. Feel free to take your time and compare prices at different shops. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.